This is Captain Ross Val with 3B's Captain School, and this is Set and Drift video in our navigation video series. Navigation, the art and science of directing the movements of a vessel safely, confidently, and efficiently from one location to another. This video, we're going to cover set and drift. And when we're done with this video, we want to be able to state the definition of set and drift and how they're using navigation. Plot and properly label the latitude and longitude for your vessel's starting point. Demonstrate how to find your dead reckoning position. Plot and properly label your actual position. Demonstrate how to find your set using the DR and actual positions. Demonstrate how to find your drift using time, speed, and distance formula. All right, so what is set and drift? Set is the direction of forces such as wind, current, and sea condition that affect a vessel as it moves through the water. And drift is the speed of the forces and is expressed in knots. Set and drift affect navigation because they move your vessel off course. By determining the set and drift along your course, you can offset its effect by making vessel speed and course to steer adjustments. So, basically set and drift is the current is moving you off the course you're trying to make. So step one, we want to accurately plot our starting position. So if you look at this question here, at 0200, you depart NCB buoy on a course of 025 compass. Remember this C right here means compass at 6.3 knots at 324 in the morning or 0324, our GPS position is 37 degrees, 05 decimal 85 minutes north, 75 degrees, 49 decimal 7 minutes west. And the question is asking, what were the set and drift? So we're going to figure out what the current was doing to push us off our course. So remember, we're starting at the NCB buoy, and we can find the NCB buoy right here circled. Step two, from the starting position of the chart, extend a line, a track line, on our course. So remember at 0200, we departed NCB buoy on a course of 025 compass. We cannot put a compass course on a chart. We can only put true courses on a chart. So the first thing we need to do here is convert this to a true course. So our compass course, is 025. Our deviation for 025, I looked at the deviation table, and it's zero. So our magnetic course would be 025. And the area we're working in, if you look on the compass rows in the chart there, it says that the variation is 10 degrees west. So when I'm moving up from compass to true, I subtract all westerly errors. So I'm going to make that 015. So 025 subtract 10. Subtracting 10 because it's west and I'm moving up gives me 015 as my true course. So now I'm going to plot 015 because that is the true course on my chart here. And if you look, I've got my parallel rule on the crosshairs in the middle of the compass rows. And then I've got, I'm using the outer ring, it's true, and I'm on 015. Now I'm gonna walk these parallel rulers over to that NCB buoy on that, maintaining that angle of 015 true. And then I'm gonna draw a line from the NCB buoy the length of my parallel ruler. So I'm just going to draw that line straight up because I know from this question that I'm on or was on that course of 025 degrees compass, which is 015 true. So I'm drawing that line to straight up my parallel rulers. Now, the next part of the question is, so I'm on this line here somewhere, right? That's where I should have been. If I was driving on that course at 025 compass, which I converted to 015 true, I'm on this line somewhere. 
The next thing we need to figure out is where on this line am I? And the way I do that is what distance should I have traveled if I went, if I left at two o'clock in the morning at a speed of 6.3 knots and I'm looking at my GPS position at 0,324. How far up that line was I? Or should I have been? So what's the time difference between these two? Put 0,324 on top minus 0,200. Draw a line in the middle and I get 24 on the minute side, 3 subtract 2, 1 on the hour side. So I know that I traveled for 1 hour and 24 minutes. All right, so now I need to make that minutes because you remember from our time, speed, and distance instruction, in order to solve for time, speed, and distance, we need to convert hours to minutes. So I take the one hour and add, take that one hour, convert it to 60 minutes and put it on my minute side here. I add the 24 minutes I had originally plus the 60 I pulled over from the hour side. And I've got 84 minutes. My time is 84 minutes. My speed is 6.3 knots. So distance equals 6.3 times 84 divided by 60. 6.3 is my speed, 84 is my minutes, and divided by 60. So I'll get 529 divided by 60. My distance is 8.8 .8 nautical miles. Remember why distance is important. That's how far along that 015 line I should be. So now I measure that distance along 8.8 .8 nautical miles along the 015 line from the NCB buoy and make my mark. And my mark ends up being right here. And a, this mark is known as a dead reckoning position. And what dead reckoning says is it's advancing my position based on the course, speed, and time without consideration for set and drift. So without any current or wind or anything, I should have been right here. And if the picture's not big enough, but if I follow this line down, 8.8 .8 nautical miles down here is the NCB buoy. So... At 0,324, I should be right here. Dead reckoning mark is a half circle with a dot. But I wasn't because at 324, I plotted my GPS position. And if you look right here at this little triangle, that was my GPS position. That position right there is 37 degrees, 0, 05 decimal, 85 minutes north, 75 degrees, 49 decimal, 7 minutes west. That's where I actually ended up. So here's where I actually am at 324. And this right here is where I should be at 324, which tells me that the current pushed me in this direction my entire trip. So I'm going to draw a line from this 324, 0324 dead reckoning where my supposed to be position, where I should have been, right through where I actually am at 324. And if you look at that line, I draw a little arrow there, and that tells me this is the direction I was pushed. I was pushed this direction right here the entire time I was on that course. That direction is my set. So how do I measure that? I take my parallels, line up with this line right here, and then move them over to the compass rows and you can see from the compass rows the parallels give me a straight line right across my true set I'm reading the outside ring here and I've got my true set right here which is 246 so the question is what were the set and drift the set is 246 so now what is drift Remember, drift is the speed 
of the current. That's what we're going to solve next. So what do I what I do next is I measure that distance. Here's our 324 position. Let me expand this a little bit. Here's our 324 position right here. Here's our 324 dead reckoning. This is where we should have been. This is where we ended up. I measure the distance between the two. Over here on my latitude scale, and it gives me it looks like 1.6 nautical miles. So I'm 1.6 nautical miles from my dead reckoning position to my actual position. Now I've got a distance. I have a time. Remember 84 minutes, 02 to 324. I have a distance and a time I can solve for speed. So my time was 84 minutes. My distance, 1.6 nautical miles. Speed, distance times 60 divided by time. So 1.6 times 60 divided by 84. 1.6 times 60 is 96 divided by 84 equals 1.1 knots. So at two, 0, 0200, we departed NCB buoy on a course of 025 compass at 6.3 knots. At 0324, our GPS position shows us at 37 degrees, 05 decimal 85 minutes north, 75 degrees, 49 decimal 7 minutes west. What were our set and drift? Our set was 246 degrees true, and our drift was 1.1 knots. This concludes our set and drift video and our navigation video series. Please check our YouTube channel for other videos.